Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, allow me share my screen as I take you through uh, what we have been able to do. Uh, so uh, the project is add, add support for fire patch operations. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Ian and Abbott for 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 working me through this project. Then, uh, the description and objective of the project, I uh, wanted to introduce patch operations uh, on fire on on fire resources, uh, so as to to empower developers uh, instead of instead of sending. The entire JSON document, as you're trying to update a single field or two, uh, you you do not have to send the entire document. You just send the specific a uh, field you're trying to update or, or, or better yet patch. Uh, so we, we sought to to implement the JSON patch, uh, the JSON merge patch, and the XML patch on the R4 version of the fire resources. I were able to do that uh, on 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 almost all all resources except for for the service request that is still under implementation. Uh, to to go deeper into into some of these of these patches, uh, we have the XML patch. Uh, so the XML patch is for for people who are comfortable with part with XML XML documents. Uh, so what we see here is a snapshot of uh, of uh, of the document that you send to the back end. For example, here we are trying to replace we are trying to replace the gender value of a patient. Uh, we do not have to send the entire XML document. We just send uh, the specific value that we want to update, and the and the and the selector pointing towards that field. Uh, with this, the content type would be would be application slash XML patch plus XML uh, in order to, to have that request successful. And then the JSON patch, the JSON patch is, uh, uh, is, is sort of similar to the, to, to, to the JSON merge patch, but it's sort of similar to the JSON document we are used to. However, the difference here is uh, uh, there, are, there are a couple of, uh, of things you have to take note of. Uh, OP, stands for operation and then the type of operation you're trying to do it could be replace you could be replacing for example the gender or you could be adding a new field uh, that was uh, that was previously missed out probably if it is uh, is nullable then uh, the content type differs from from the other one from the XML patch and you'd have to take note of it. And then uh, for the JSON merge patch, uh, I think this is is what mo most people will be dealing with, because it's 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 more straightforward. You just uh, you just code that, then you you input the 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 field you are trying to update. Uh, for example, I'm using gender here, and I'm trying to update it. Probably the pre the previous uh, gender was female. Uh, it could be birthday. It could be First name, it would be uh, any single value that you're trying to update. You do not have to send the entire entire JSON document to do that. Uh, and then um, more on of of the, of the on the fire patching. Uh, we have I have a couple of links uh, on talk, then wiki, then uh, for those who would be interested to take it on, uh, probably the O3 from devs. Uh, we have it released in in Fire 1.1 0 0.0 version of Fire, and then uh, uh, we are working on currently working on uh, we are working towards Fire version two, uh, where we are trying to 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 upgrade the the, the version of Happy Fire uh, to to five point. Uh, the target is is happy happy fire six, but I uh, would have to drop support for OpenMRS uh, 
2.4 uh, downwards so uh, look out for that uh, probably by uh, the next uh, community meeting we'll have done that and then I want to thank the Okanema race for the opportunity to learn and develop as I write code with the aim of saving lives. Thank you.